Hey guys, it's Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews. It's time for 7 on Sunday. I'm sorry it's been away for two weeks, but I'm going to try to stay a little bit more consistent from this point forward. This is a, another user recommended one. Uh, it's seven bad albums from good bands. And I say bad in comparison to their back catalog, to everything that we know they're capable of. They, they just had an off moment and really just more recently we've seen a lot of bands just kind of go down the tubes and make mediocre albums or even bad albums. The first one I want to talk about is Mosquito from the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. It came out last spring and I listed it as one of my most forgettable albums on a 7 on Sunday I believe and it's forgettable because of the fact that it's just so weak compared to most of their releases up to this point. Art rock, uh, atmospheric, it's just, it wasn't edgy at all, it wasn't really that creative. Uh, there were a few tracks that stood out to me, like uh, Buried Alive and Sacrilege. Uh, Sacrilege was definitely one that needs to grow on you, but as a whole, this whole record was just so weak. Like I said, I don't think it can stand on its own without maybe listening to some of their other work around it. It's just one of those releases that you'd kind of like to forget about. Next up is Path of Totality by Korn. It was their dubstep record, dubstep meets metal, featuring like Skrillex and Kill the Noise and all these other uh, dubstep artists on every single track. Uh, uh, mixing their dark lyrics and typical vibes with dubstep did not exactly get the results that I think it was going for. Uh, by any means, it turned out to a cluttered mess of a record and one that I don't really ever see myself revisiting. Kids in the Street by All American Rejects is another one that I really think was just an extremely, extremely bad record compared to everything else All American Rejects have done. This band at this point really seemed to be getting kind of washed up. There were a couple of good tracks, uh, the ones that stood out to me and the ones that I still like to listen to. Someday's Gone, an amazing, amazing track right there, and then the title track, Kids in the Street. But as a whole, there's not much substance here to this record. It just felt like an identity crisis, a rushed, kind of cluttered mess that All American Rejects just kind of threw together and released as their last record on a major label because you know Interscope dropped them after this one. Come Down Machine by The Strokes is next on my list. The Strokes have had so many solid records, even up to Angles in 2011, but Come Down Machine just was not anywhere near uh, their best. It had a great track on it called One Way Trigger, but as a whole, I find myself thinking when I listen to the record, just kind of Oh wow, Is This It was great, or Room on Fire, Angles, or even First Impressions of Earth, wow, yeah, I remember those great tracks, and then I think about Come Down Machine, and nothing really comes to mind. Reign of Terror by Sleigh Bells, one that I was truly furious when I heard, just because of the fact that it was just so boring and depressing, and just, uh, I wanted to rip my hair out when I heard this record, and I have not listened to it since then. It's a bad record. It's nothing what you would expect from Sleigh Bells at all, I don't think. Uh, I remember tracks like uh, Demons, End of the Line, just being excruciating to me. It had that great track, Comeback Kid, on it. Amazing track, one of my favorite Sleigh Bells tunes. But then the rest of the album, really, honestly, there was not another track that I enjoyed off of that album. Two more left to go. Next up is Collapsible Long by Reliant K. You probably saw that one coming. Need I say more? Reliant K, uh, it's the definition of kind of selling out, honestly. Outside co-writers, they're supposedly Christians in a band and they're singing songs like Can I Take You Home or something like that. I can't even remember the title of that track, but I just remember how awful and trying to be bubblegum poppy that and radio friendly that this album tried to be. It was a total fail, minus a couple of tracks like the single Don't Blink. <laughs> You guys were waiting for this one. I know it. I know it. I know you were waiting for it to be on here, and I haven't reviewed it yet. I will. One day, just be patient. A Thousand Suns by Lincoln Park. Should I get my reasons or not? Should I just wait for the review and just throw it on the list and leave you guys hanging? Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Um, a lot of it, I'll tell you this, a lot of it had to do with just the whole feel and flow of the record. Uh, a lot of really short electronic intro go-between tracks were bullshit, and uh, the track The Messenger. <laughs> 
Yeah. Anyways, uh, what did you think about my choices for seven bad albums from great bands? Let me know in the comments section down below, and of course leave suggestions for future episodes of SOS. Thanks for watching, hitting the like button, subscribing to this channel, and of course my main channel, Album Review TV. Check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description down below, and I will see you guys very soon right here on Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews.